Hello, welcome to the service of morning prayer for Saturday the 13th of November 2021 from St Luke's Church, Eccles Hill. To take part in this service, as always, you'll need to have a Bible of your own so that you can engage with Holy Scripture yourself on a one-to-one -one basis with God. And for that purpose, you'll need to be able to pause the video and listen to God rather than to me. We begin our service by asking God into our hearts and onto our lips by his Holy Spirit, and reminding ourselves of the great cloud of witnesses which are also praising him. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. The hymn which Stephen has chosen for us to sing from the Sing Praise hymn book today uh, is from the Teze community uh, and the Latin is In Manus Tuas Pater Commendo Spiritu Meum Spiritum Meum uh, Into your hands, O Father, I commend my spirit. Of course, the Teze community sings in Latin so that people from all countries can join in on a common basis. Uh, but I thought we ought to provide an English translation, so that's what I've done in this version of the hymn. The night has passed, and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The psalm set for today is Psalm 33. Rejoice in the Lord, all you righteousness, because praise and worship belongs to him. Uh, and here is a sung version of that psalm in order that we may appreciate it as a song rather than just as a poem. The 
set the stars in their place. He swooped the waters and laid the deeps. We fear to catch sight of his face, and yet we love him because of his grace. So let the whole earth fear the Lord our God, and let the whole earth stand in He's kind and good, and as our Redeemer he poured his blood, and so we will praise and adore. How blessed is the nation where God is known, from heaven he watches all kinds. He sees all peoples but chose his own, he knows what we think in our tiny minds, but loves us whatever he finds. A horse cannot save us despite its strength, an army can't rescue its king. So we rely on the Lord our God, despite all the heathen who think us odd, and this is the reason we sing. And you might like to pause the video and reflect on that psalm in your own Bible. The portion of scripture set for the Old Testament reading today is in the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 8, verse 16, through to chapter 9, verse 7. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. Of course, Christians have always regarded the second part of that reading as pointing forward to our Lord Jesus Christ. If you want, you can respond to the Old Testament reading with the canticle from Isaiah 43, I am God, your Holy One, and if you want to do that, please do it now. The New Testament reading is the second half of Matthew chapter 6, part of the Sermon on the Mount. It begins at verse 19 and goes through to the end of the chapter. Please pause the video and read that in your own Bible. A member of our church once said to me that this was one of her favourite Bible passages, uh, but not because uh, she could do what it said, and actually she found great trouble uh, in actually being able to put it into practice. So here's a song of aspiration uh, that we might be able to put into practice what Jesus says to us in these verses. We seek the kingdom of God the Lord, we seek his righteousness, for God knows all the things we need, we trust in him to bless. We see the heathen run around and get themselves in a stew, but tis our delight to be doing right as Jesus taught us to. We think of how all the sparrows fare that fly so wild and free, they never have to sow or reap or stock a granary, but God looks after all the birds and we're more precious than they, so tis our delight to be doing right and Yet even old King Solomon could never look so trim If that is how God clothes the grass which only fuels the fire Then tis our delight to be doing right, he meets our heart's desire We never worry as pagans do, what shall we eat today? What shall we wear, what shall we drink, what shall we do or say? Our Father knows what we require, he watches, listens and heeds. So tis our delight to be doing right, as he supplies our needs. And so let's commit our ways into the hands of the one who has our good at his heart. 
and thus tie together the beginning and the ending of our service. Let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are worthy of the trust we place in you by placing our spirits in your hands. Because you have our best interests at heart, you are our Heavenly Father. You love us like a father loves children, and you delight to give us good things and take care of us in our lives. Grant that we may always have the grace of being able to cast ourselves on your care and seek your will, and thus be in your plans uh, for the good and the future of our world. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we give you our thanks that praise belongs to you, and we give you our thanks that you gave to us our Lord Jesus Christ uh, as a down payment, uh, as a promise uh, of what is to be ours in the future. The one who reconciles us to you, the one who assures us of your favour in our lives. Help us to revere him all our days, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And therefore, Heavenly Father, we place into your hands the things which are particular troubles in our own lives, seeking your will and asking that your kingdom come and your will be done in our lives. Please pause the video and put before God the things which are on your own heart in your own words. the collect set for last Sunday, which we've been using as a collect all week. Heavenly Father, whose blessed Son was revealed to destroy the works of the devil and to make us the children of God and heirs of eternal life, grant that we, having this hope, may purify ourselves as he is pure, that when he appears in power and great glory, we shall be like him in his kingdom, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's pray as Jesus taught his first disciples in the words of the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. And so may God grant that we may seek first his kingdom in order uh, that his righteousness might be done in our world. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God.